Yes, guys, this is the best Android tablet. I was gonna say gaming tablet, but honestly, this is the best Android tablet I have seen this year. And this is the Lenovo Y700 gaming tablet. Now you're wondering, why is this the best Android tablet? We've got tablets from Samsung, we've got the Galaxy Tab Ultra. Yes, those are fine, those are great, but honestly, I've thoroughly enjoyed using this tablet for the past two weeks. So the Y700 is an 8.8 inch tablet, something I can easily hold in my hand as you can clearly see. I also have Booster Gold and Blue Beetle right here. But I do like it because it's a 2K display. It's very comfortable and very portable to use, but it's got all the functionality you're looking for in a tablet, right? So this is powered by the Snapdragon 870. We have eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM, and we do have either a 120 or 256 gigabytes of storage with this tablet. Also have stereo speakers, you have a headphone jack, and you've got something that is very nice and comfortable to hold, especially when you are gaming. So let's talk about the gaming aspects first and then we'll talk about other aspects of this device. Now, in terms of gaming, you're gonna be looking at some of the impressive performance for the 87, which we've talked about over a year ago. And it's good to see that Lenovo is actually showcasing it in this device. So I started off with the very first game I love to play, which is of course, Call of Duty Mobile. It's easy to play, shows you some of the best benchmarks. And Call of Duty Mobile on this device, you can go to a setting that's called Ultra, which gives you up to 90 frames per second. And I was impressed to see that off this device directly. So that was actually pretty cool, getting 90 frames per second, or you can still get a solid locked 60. Actually, no, you get higher than 60 frames per second when you do the standard max settings, around 67 frames per second. Again, that was truly impressive. So it kind of takes advantage of this device here. As I mentioned, 2K display, 120 hertz refresh rate. So you're getting everything you should expect. But the thing I really like about this though is the fact that it's got a couple of options in here. You've got a slider button on the right that takes you get straight into the, the Legion Game Center. Now your Legion Game Center shows you all your games right there so you can quickly access them. You can go into also some of the game settings as well with your Legion Assistant. Uh, you can look at shortcuts, things like that. So those things are there. But when you're in a game, this is where you really take advantage of some of that gaming performance because they've given you all the gaming tools you need. You swipe from the top down, you have like your Legion gaming bar, and that shows you your CPU usage, your GPU usage as well, and of course, some of the things you need, like your Wi-Fi settings, you have a floating display, you can do a shadow recording, and then you've got different game modes to swap to. So you've got basically game, you've got Rampage, which is basically like a mini overclocking, if you will. You've got Eco Pro, which basically dials it back down if you want to prolong your gameplay sessions. So that is actually pretty nice, but the floating display, I do like the most. Let's move on to our next game, which of course is PUBG Mobile. Now PUBG Mobile, as you expect, you get to see a performance that you should get from PUBG Mobile. Smooth Extreme, we're getting a solid 60 frames per second, really nice and locked in. While of course, Ultra HD Ultra, we got a solid 40 frames per second. So this can handle those games well. And then we move on to Genshin Impact. Now, of course, we know how Genshin is, and we ran out of the max setting now. This is an 870, not a triple eight or an H N one. So it does run close to 60 frames per second, but it did fluctuate between 56 to 60 frames per second while gaming, playing um, Genshin Impact. So you do get those max settings. But of course, with a games like Genshin, this is where you tend to push the envelope in terms of temperatures. So my temperatures got close to about 107 degrees, 108 playing Genshin, uh, that's the hottest that I got this device to be, which to me wasn't bad, uh, but it's something just to take note. There is active cooling here, which the Lenovo actually has on this device. It's pretty nice to see. Now, as I mentioned, we do have stereo speakers, and honestly, those speakers sounded really, really good, but take a quick listen. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. Stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos built into them as well. Let's check out our final game, which of course is, as you'd expect, 
Apex Legends Mobile. That is the latest new hot game out here. And with Apex Legends, uh, you can get up to 60 frames per second if you do ultra and you do like low settings, which would give you 60 FPS, which means of course, your graphic settings are actually lowest, but of course your frame rates are the highest. And if you do um, the mid setting, which is the standard recommended, then you're getting about 50 frames per second on there. And it ran really well. It looks pretty good. I like the way this tablet handles gaming. So what you just said to me, Thunder E, is that this is a great gaming tablet. So how is it a good tablet overall? Well, the thing I like about it is just watching content. I was able to take this to me on my trip I just did recently, and the fact that I could actually view content on here quite effectively was pretty nice. You've got a 2K display, so everything is bright, sharp, and vibrant, and you've got access to all your streaming services, except, and here's the caveat, Netflix. Netflix is not on here, and that probably is because this is an, a China-only device. Yes, you can buy it, but this is only released in China, not released globally. So you do have to sideload Netflix if you want to actually use it on this device here. But I was able to sideload it and I was able to use and it wasn't a problem with it at all. Now, when it comes to the cameras, the cameras are decent, does, you know, decent imagery. Of course, there's a front facing camera, which you can use for video conferencing, but just know that it's on the left hand side of the screen. To me, that's not my main use for a tablet like this. It's consuming content and gaming with this. To me, this is fantastic because you can throw it into your backpack. You can put it in your back pocket if you got pretty wide ones, but it's pretty solid. So there you have it guys, that is the Lenovo Y700, probably the best Android tablet you will find on the market. And guess the price, it's only $499. So definitely you can pick this up. I'll leave some links down for you guys below. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.